Okay, hello everyone. So, ang topic po natin ngayon ay all about exponential equations. And ang objective po natin is to solve exponential equations. Okay, so this is general mathematics for senior high school. So, magbibigay po ako ng examples on how to solve exponential equations. Okay, so let's start. Number one example. Solve the equation 2 raised to x minus 1 equals 4. And the solution is, okay, so write both sides with 2 as the base. So, ang base po natin dito is 2 and 4. Okay, to change natin, yung base natin dapat magkapareho. To change natin siya into exponential form ang 4. Okay. So, 4 is equivalent to 2 times 2. In exponential form, it is 2 square. And then, i -re 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 natin siya. We have 2 raised to x minus 1 equals 2 square. Okay? Since pareho na sila ng base, they are equal, equal base. And then, uh, i-drop na natin yung base na 2. And then, i -re 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 na lang natin yung exponent. So, we have x minus 1 equals 2. Okay, and then, by addition property of equality, mag add tayo ng um, neg positive 1 sa left side and positive 1 sa right side para masolve ang x. Okay, para makancel ang negative 1. Okay, so now negative 1 plus 1 is 0. 2 plus 1 is 3. Therefore, we have x equals 3. Example number 2. Solve the equation 2 raised to x equals 16. Okay, since ang base na pinakamababa natin ay 2, okay, so ang gagawin natin dito si 16, dapat ang base then is 2. Dapat magkapareho sila ng base. Okay, so write both sides with 2 as the base. Okay, so 16 is equivalent to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4 times 2, 8 times 2, 16. In exponential form, it is 2 raised to 4. Okay, and then we rewrite 2 raised to x equals 2 raised to 4. The exponential form of 16. Okay, and then uh, the base are equal, so... Disregard the base, and then we just write the exponent, x and 4. So, we have the value of x now is equal to 4. Okay, example number 3. Solve the equation 9 raised to x equals 27. So, dito mag-iisip tayo ng paraan kung paano sila mag equal ng base. Okay, so ang solution natin is to write both sides with 3 as the base. Or, iti-change natin yung 9, 9 raised to x at 27 sa exponential form. Okay, 9 raised to x equals 27. Okay, 9 is equivalent to 3 times 3 raised to x. And then, 27 is equivalent to 3 times 3 times 3. Okay, in exponential form, we have 3 is square. 3 square kasi dalawang beses natin tinimes ang 3. Okay, raised to x and it is equal to 3 cube. 3 cube kasi tatlong beses natin tinimes ang 3. Okay, and then it becomes 3 raised to 2x equals 3 raised to 3. So now magkapareho na sila ng base which is 3. Okay, and then i -re rewrite lang natin yung exponent, which is 2x equals 3. And then, solve for x. Para ma-solve yung x, i-divide natin siya both side by 2. So, 2x divided by 2 is x, or we can cancel 2. Then, now we have x equals 3 over 2. So, that is now um, the value of x which is 3 over 2. Okay, example number 4 is to solve the equation 4 raised to x plus 3 equals 8 raised to x. 
Okay, so ang solution natin dito, again, uh, kailangan magkapareho sila ng base. So, mag-iisip tayo ng paraan kung paano sila magkaroon ng parehong base. Okay, so solution is to write both sides with 2 as the base. Okay, kukunin muna natin yung exponential form ng 4 at saka ng 8. Okay, so 4 is equivalent to 2 times 2. And 8 is equivalent to 2 times 2 times 2. Again, 4 is 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Okay, and 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 8. Okay, then write in exponential form. 2 times 2 is 2 is square raised to x plus 3 and then 2 times 2 times 2 tatlong beses nating tinimes yung 2 so that's why we have 2 cube times x okay so now since pareho na sila ng base which is 2 okay i-rewrite na lang natin yung exponents which is 2 times x plus 3 equals 3 times x Okay, and then we're going to solve for x. To solve for x, i-distribute natin yung 2 or using the distributive property, 2 times x equals 2x. And then 2 times 3 equals positive 6. Then it is equal to 3x. Okay, then we're going to simplify. Okay, to simplify, uh, we use the addition property of equality. Okay, so since mas mataas yung nasa right side, mas mataas yung um, 3x kaysa 2x, ang gagawin natin is i-eliminate yung 2x sa left side. Okay, so ang gagawin natin to eliminate 2x sa left side, we're going to add negative 2x. Okay, kung mag-a-add tayo ng negative 2x sa left side, ganun din sa right side. Okay, and then 2x minus 2x is 0. Then, now we have 6 equals 3x minus 2x equals x. Therefore, the value of x is equal to 6. Example number 5. Solve the equation 5 raised to 3x minus 1 equals 5 raised to x plus 3. Okay, so the solution is to write both sides with 5 as the base. So, since pareho na sila ng base, which is 5, ang gagawin na lang natin is to rewrite their exponents. So, 3x minus 1 and x plus 3. Then, now we have 3x minus 1 equals x plus 3. And then, the next step is to solve for x. Para masolve ang x, pagsasamahin natin yung mga may variable na x sa may left side at mga integers or constant sa my right sides. Hmm. Okay? Uh, pwede tayong gumamit ng addition property of equality. So, ang gagawin ko is to um, transpose x and negative 1. Shortcut method ang gagawin ko. Okay? So, ang gagawin ko is transpose ko yung x doon sa left side. Ililipat ko yung positive x sa left side. Pag naglipat ako ng x sa kabilang side, positive magiging negative x. Okay? And then, we have equal sign. And then, 3. Dahil naiwan yung 3 doon. And then, negative 1, ililipat ko siya sa left side. So, kung nilipat ko yung negative 1 sa left side, negative, papalitan ko ng sign na positive 1. Okay? Uh, again, pag naglilipat tayo, or pag ginamit natin tong method na to, pag naglilipat tayo, or nagtatranspose tayo sa kabilang side, from left to right, or right to left, okay, magbabago yung sign. Positive magiging negative, negative magiging positive. Okay? So, now we have 3x minus x equals 3 plus 1. Okay, and then 3x minus x is 2x and 3 plus 1 equals 4. And to solve for x, divide natin siya both side by 2 para makancel ang 2. Or 2x divided by 2 is x. Or we can cancel 2. Then 4 divided by 2 equals x equals 2. Again, the value of x is 2. 
Okay, example number 6, solve the equation 27 raised to x plus 6 equals 9 raised to x plus 2. Okay, the solution is gagawin nating exponential form ang 27 and 9 para magkaroon sila ng parehong base. Okay, so 27 is equivalent to 3 times 3 times 3 raised to x plus 6. 9 is equivalent to 3 times 3 raised to x plus 2. And then, 3 times 3 times 3 is equivalent to 3 cubed raised to x plus 6. Then, it is equal to uh, 3 cubed, it is equal to 3 square uh, times the exponent x plus 2. And then, since pareho na sila ng base, okay, i -re rewrite na lang natin yung exponent. Okay, we have now 3 times x plus 6 equals 2 times x plus 2. Okay, and then we're going to distribute 3. 3 times x is equal to 3x. 3 times 6 is 18 equals 2 times x is 2x. 2 times 2 equals 4. Okay, and then uh, the next step is to solve for x. Para masolve yung x, okay, ang gagawin natin, the first step is ililipat natin lahat ng may variable na x sa my left side. Okay, ang constant is nasa right side. Okay, so, pwede natin gamitin ang distributive property but this time gagamit ako ng shortcut method. Okay, ililipat ko yung 2x sa my left side. Okay, to, para mailipat ko yung 2x sa my left side, ang gagawin ko, okay, mag-change ako ng sign which is positive 2x, mapapalitan siya ng negative 2x. Okay, pag naglilipat tayo um, sa left side or the right side, magpapalit ng sign. Okay, next, yung 18, ililipat ko doon sa my right side. So, positive 18, it becomes negative 18. Okay, so, nire-write ko yung 4. Then, now we have 3x minus 2x equals 4 minus 18. And then, 3x minus 2x equals x, 4 minus 18 equals negative 14. Okay, the answer is x equals negative 14. Okay, example number 7. Solve the equation 4 raised to 3x equals 8 raised to x plus 6. Okay, so mag-iisip tayo ng numbers or mag-iisip tayo ngayon ng paraan para magkaroon tayo ng parehong base. Okay, so solution is to change 4 and 8 into exponential form. 4 is equivalent to 2 times 2. 8 is equivalent to 2 times 2 times 2. And then, we have 2 is square. Okay, since dalawang beses natin tinimes yung 2. Kaya 2 ang exponent. Okay, times the exponent 3x. And then, 2 times 2 times 2. Tatlong beses natin tinimes ang 2. So, that's why we have 2 cube. And then, x plus 6. Since they are equal, okay, equal base, so, ang gagawin natin, i-rewrite na lang ang exponent. So, we have 2 times 3x and 3 times x plus 6. Okay, and then, uh, we simplify. We distribute 2 times 3x equals 6x equals distrib distribute 3. So, 3 times x is equal to 3x. 3 times 6 is equal to 18. Okay, and then, um, to solve for x, Ililipat natin lahat ng may variable na x sa my left side. And ang constant is nasa right side. Okay, para ilipat ang 3x, um, positive 3x, it becomes negative 3x. Mag-change tayo ng sign. Okay, and then 6x minus 3x equals 18. And then, um, to solve for x, 6x minus 3x is equal to 3x equals 18. And then divide both sides by 3. Okay, so we can cancel 3 and x is equal to 6. Okay, so that is the answer x equals 6.